back to the Duper Garage. I'm Brian. And I'm Brian. And behind us, we just finished coating this truck bed with Duper Color's Bed Armor. It's the only truck bed coating formulated with Kevlar. It's a water-based polyurethane, so there's no harsh chemicals or solvent smells, so it's very easy to use and apply. And being a water-based product, it's very easy to clean up. It's as simple as soap and water. Now, Bed Armor is also a rubberized textured coating, which means it's very impact resistant and it won't flake, chip, or peel. It's so easy to do, we're going to show you right now. All right, now the truck we have here is a few years old and it's definitely seen some use. There's some scratches in the bed and there's some dents and that's exactly why we want to protect it with bed armor. The bed armor kit comes with everything you need. It comes with full color instructions, it comes with the scouring pad, the roller and roller tray, the stir stick, the brush, and of course the gallon of bed armor. Now the gallon kit is enough to take care of a short bed. However, if you have an extended bed, we got you covered with a court that'll help you get there. We also have an aerosol that's great for any of those projects because it's going to help with cutting in and make it that much quicker. Now prep is the most important part of this project. You want to make sure the bed armor sticks to the surface. The surface is still glossy so we want to scuff that down with a scouring pad. Now the first step before we get there is to make sure that we clean this bed out and get any dirt and debris out. We've already taken care of that so we're going to move right on to scuffing the bed down. There you go. Thanks. Now I'm using the supplied scouring pad to break the gloss on the finish, however you can use anything you want to do that. I suggest 80 or 100 grit sandpaper or if you even want to go this route with the wire wheel. Anything really to get the job done. So we finished scuffing the interior of the bed. What I'm doing now is I'm scuffing right up to our tape line that we put down so that we get a nice crisp edge when we're done applying. You know, when sanding down the bed, it creates a lot of dust. So what you can do is hose it out, blow it out with the airline, and then after that, shoot it with some Dupacolor prep spray, and that's going to get rid of any fine residue that's left over. Now, once you've cleaned and degreased it and that's dry, we're on to application. Okay, so we've got the bed completely scuffed, taped off, and degreased, and the next step is application. Now, since bed armor is formulated with Kevlar and rubber particles, I'm going to make sure that this is thoroughly stirred so that we're going to get an even application. Now the bed armor system is a water-based polyurethane, so you don't have to worry about any harsh chemicals or strong solvent smells, so you're not going to need one of these. Now the kit does come with the brush for cutting in, however I'm going to use the aerosol because that's going to make the job a whole lot quicker and a whole lot easier. wrapping up the first coat here. We're going to wait about an hour to maybe two hours for this to dry as long as it's dry enough to get back up in there and apply the second coat. Now ideal weather conditions is going to be a dry sunny day. If it's humid out it's obviously going to take longer to dry because it's a water-based product. Now since this product has a lot of texture to it you're going to want to make sure that you apply it as evenly as possible. Go ahead and back roll it if you need to. But as mentioned before as long as it's dry enough to get back up in there and do the second coat you're ready to go. We gave it about two hours of dry time. As you can see, Brian's up there already starting on the second coat. I'm going to hit the corners with the aerosol, just like we did on the first coat. Well, the bed's done. Just finishing up the second coat on the tailgate. We're going to let it dry for about two hours. Then we're going to go ahead and peel the tape. Now you can see we have the truck bed all wrapped up here. We coated it with two coats of bed armor, we let it dry for about two hours, then we peel the masking tape. Always peel your masking tape away from the project. Now one of the great things about bed armor is there's no reco window, which means at any point in time, if we see any spot that needs to be touched up, we can go back and do that. And since bed armor is a water-based polyurethane, you can clean the tools with soap and water for future use. There's also no pot life with bed armor, so once that lid is sealed, you can use it in future projects. And we fully expect this truck to see some use, and with that use it's going to get some sun exposure, but we've got that covered because there's UV inhibitors in the formula, so this is not going to fade. That's right, and if your truck is old or new, bed armor with Kevlar will protect it. 